Hey, we're here at ABR Industries, and I'm here with Chuck. We're going to talk about some cool connectors called FME connectors. You might want these. Check this out. So uh, one of the products that we introduced this year was the FME assembly. FME assemblies have been around for about 10 or 15 years, but they've been used mostly commercial. And the reason being is because they go up to about 2 gigahertz in operation, but they were more or less designed to be woven through the vehicles. So the nice thing about the FME that you see here is it's a very small design, but it's got a locking hex piece in here. So when you think about mating adapters, normally people are just threading upon one end versus the next. But the beauty of the FME, which has the really tiny, tiny pin, is when it locks, it has a seamless look to it so that it prevents anybody from being able to twist or accidentally pull it apart like a BNC has those spring fingers mm -hmm. on there. This one just completely locks into place so that there's no torquing or torsion issues. The only thing to be concerned about is you have to be a little bit careful like with your SMAs because the tension is um, only about five, six pounds. So when you tighten it down with a wrench, you can do that, but hand is usually preferred. It'll actually then help, um, but it won't break on you. So that's kind of one of the benefits of this thing. The other thing is because it's a different adapter set, there's a wide variety. So end connectors, let's say you're working something and it's a two meter connector and you got an old end type on a Yagi, it's a simple, simple fix, right? So once again, you got whatever that you need there. But if you take the same assembly out there and let's just say you got out there, you did your two meter contacts on POTA, which is so many, oops, per, <laughs> sorry. Slippery little suckers. Slippery suckers. Uh, <laughs> You can then flip back to your BNC for your HF operations yeah. so that you can go back and make an easy change. Um, some other things is this is a good way for a lot of the starter hams to get set up because with SMA connectors being so prevalent, oh yeah, um, it's a real easy piece, once again, just to put on there. And like I said, it's yeah, a seamless piece. Yeah, throw that on your piece. HT. These FMEs are available as something small as this 100 series, but we also do it on the 195, which is a 58 size, the 240, which is the 8X size, but we even have them for the 400 size. Oh, wow. So if you're a new ham getting stuck routing a cable through the house, you can buy an assembly with an FME and then route the cable through because that connector and set is smaller than the PL259. It's the same diameter yeah. as actually an 8X size, so it's a quarter inch. So the beauty of that is now you can filter this right through the house, get set up with your shack, reconnect it, and you can run a modest amount of power. These things can handle about six, 700 watts. Okay. So for a lot of hams, I mean, you're only at- 50, Is that across the board for that, all the sizes? Yeah, it's usually that's actually the VHF, UHF side of things. So okay. HF can handle a little bit more, but usually we try to keep people at a modest level just in case there's a visoir issue or something mm -hmm. else going on. But um, definitely a very, very easy product. Um, and this is obviously we reintroduced that 174 that you showed off, yep, but yep. nice and silky smooth. It's not as strong as the 316, <laughs> but it's still uh, it's a, it's a new product. It for is us. a and heck of a lot more relaxed than that 316. Yeah, just to put it in your pocket and you go. Yeah. So so that's the FME, and then of course the ferret assemblies can be installed on any cable that you want out there. Yeah. Three or five is usually more than enough for portable operations or working the home, but we do do it up to seven. After that, we've capped out the performance of the ferrites compared to your receiver that's in your radio. It's nothing, it's an issue on the receiver side. It's just, we've isolated about 30 to 40 dB, and that's about as good as we can get to improving your noise floor. Mm -hmm. so, Sweet. So that's some of the things that we've been doing here at ABR Industries. Um, we also have a brand new builder that's on our site, so it'll do decimal points. We always like to mention this because if you're doing any phasing harnessing lines and you want to do customized assemblies, you can actually plug the data right into the builder for the lengths and you'll be all set. Uh, we'll also have a tool that'll allow you to do the calculations. That'll be coming out in late December, early January. Okay. So, nice. So that's some of the new things we're doing at ABR. Awesome. Yeah, and this is cool just as a, as a portable operator to be able to have just like one cable and instead of having 
you know, all kinds of different, just random parts, mm -hmm. generic adapters, you now have good quality adapters from ABR that you can put in your bag. And now you want BNC, it's BNC. You want PL259, it's PL259, SMA, whatever. So that is really cool. Excited to see that. So Cool. Thanks, Chuck. Well, thank you. Appreciate it.